fashion review. That's right. That's what this channel needs right now. A top 10 list. Finally. <laughs> a top 10 list of something I know barely anything about. That'll do it. That'll get them watching. <laughs> so I wanted to make another video on fashion, but uh, specifically fashion memes. And I had a few things in mind already, but I still asked you guys on Twitter for some suggestions and oh boy, there was a lot of fashion memes out there. Hey, you want to look like a dragon pear? What in the world? I think it's safe to say that uh, fashion and memes are becoming closer and closer. You have these uh, steal his look memes. Remember those? <laughs> very cheap price, very good price. But let's go through my top 10 fashion memes list, everybody. Yeah, for some reason I thought it was a good idea to do a top 10 of this. Number one. Balenciaga IKEA bag. That's right, everybody. From high-end designer Balenciaga, they call it the Arena Extra Large Shopping Tote. Mm -hmm. It's going viral because do you notice that it looks something similar to maybe the IKEA yeah. <laughs> 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 right. shopping bag known as the Frakta? Inspiration, yes, the Frakta, everyone. Frakta. Oh, Frakta. It's Frakta. Stop stealing our culture! How many meatballs can I fit in that bad boy? Hmm? You could get the Balenciaga designer bag for $2,145. Oh, oh, oh. Or the low, low price of 99 cents for IKEA's Frakta. And best of all, no assembly required on that particular for IKEA once, item. Yeah. I know. You yeah. just that little wrench. Oh my you know? God. I mean, I'd, I'd buy it just to represent Sweden. I also really like the IKEA Yeezys. So, yeah, for the low price of $2,140. Dollars. You too can embrace Swedish culture. I mean, I practically grew up with these bags. It's kind of funny. <laughs> IKEA responds to Balenciaga gets blue bag in the best way possible. So they responded with a meme. It wasn't really much of a meme. It really was kind of disappointing. <laughs> Number two, unintentional vagana. Do you want to dress up looking like a vagana? Oh, I'm sorry. Let me rephrase that. Do you want to dress up looking like a vagana just for a thousand dollars? That's right. I know which option you're picking. Well, look no further. This Fendi scarf looks like... <laughs> you know, I feel bad if anyone's seen a vagana like that. I'm sorry. Here's the upside down version. <laughs> Maybe this item in particular should have been uh, on a model and not just shown itself. Just... Just a thought. Food for thought. Or just thought. <laughs> Number three on our list, everybody. That's right, we're going fast. We're going hard. Here's a meme that I personally fell for. That's right, I bought this belt. I really like this brand. It's the Alex roller coaster belt. You've probably seen these, they're quite popular. They go for 273 pounds. They're really cool belts, okay? Stop hating. Don't judge me, okay? They're cool belts. I like the brand. What do you want from me? You can buy these uh, rip-off ones for uh, 30 bucks. I've seen even less. Obviously, you shouldn't you shouldn't do that, okay? Don't don't steal. The reason why I'm bringing up the the copy is because the original, the 273 pound one, it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit any pants. You can't wear this belt. So you pay, <laughs> you pay over $300 for a belt that you can't use. Good job. I have to help out the people that are curious on to how to actually put this damn belt yes, to use. Because I know me. a lot of people how the hell do are I put spending it on? money on this and can't even get use out of it, which is unfortunate. But I'm here to help. So what are the tips? So what are the tips? This is not fitting in here. That makes no sense. Like you just cannot do it. Practically, if you want to wear this belt, you got to go to a tailor to enter the belt. So if you want to spend like, I don't know, an hour putting the belt on, you can, you can get it through. But if you have, I don't know, a different fabric material, you're likely to just break your pants. I don't know. Sad, just sad. <laughs> Number four, Gucci Gundam. Gucci gang, Gucci gun, Gucci, Gucci gun, Gucci gun them. Do you want to dress like your favorite anime character for the low price of $1,700? Because Gucci sold these uh, jackets or outfits for, uh, for that price. And on the Japanese market, people were quick to point out that they look very similar to the Gundam outfits. <laughs> I mean, look at the cuffs, look at the belt, look at the neck, the shoulders, the boots. 
it's pretty similar. They even had the the red version of the jacket. It's a pretty jacket. I'm not gonna lie. I like I wouldn't wear it, which was also resembled to another Gundam character. Gucci made a statement about this apparently, where they said that uh, it wasn't intentional, or uh, maybe they've watched Gundam and that's how it sort of happened. But they can either deny or confirm. But considering how Gucci already does a lot of anime or vintage anime inspired looks. I think it's safe to say that this uh, this was an inspiration at least. Could this be the world's most expensive cosplay? <laughs> Number five, everybody, Moncler. They've been doing a lot of collaborations. I think they call it Moncler Genius. Honestly, I think a lot of them are really dope. They did one with Craig, Craig Green and uh, it's pretty crazy. I saw a lot of you guys sending me this one and I, I've i seen it already. I wanted to bring it up in my last video. This is just the thing that I think a lot of people don't realize. These are just promotional designs. You may think, oh, who, how, how would anyone possibly wear this? This is just ridiculous. They're not made to wear. They're just made to, I don't know, be promo, get people to talk about it. And clearly it works. But even then, I can appreciate the design of it. I think it looks awesome and then looking at the actual commercial jacket of it it's cool it's a cool jacket like i would buy it unless i if i needed a new jacket which i don't so i'm not gonna spend money on it it's a cool jacket i gotta give them prompt that's not why i'm bringing up moncler the reason why is because they did a collaboration with pierre paolo Pic piccioli and uh, it said uh, it's something it's uh, it's it's something to say the least i don't know It looks like those dolls. What are they called? Again, they're interesting to look at. I can at least appreciate the design. But I think what blows my mind on this is that these are actually the commercial pieces that you can buy for 2,415 pounds. And guess what? They're all sold out. So even if you wanted to, for some reason, buy it, you can't. They're sold out, all of them. I want to see people wear these. They're probably really warm and comfortable, to be fair. <laughs> Can you imagine going out in a snowstorm? Don't worry fam, I got just the outfit. Very nice. Number six goes to video games. That's right, I kind of combined this category. Uh, you've probably seen this, it was a few years ago where the Final Fantasy character Lightning did a collaboration with Louis Vuitton uh, to promote these handbags and outfits. Uh, way to hit the very niche market of uh, female gamers that are also loaded and also into high-end fashion. <laughs> Funny enough, I think today, or maybe a few days ago, Capcom did a similar thing, although they're not collaborating with any fashion brand, they did launch their own clothing pieces uh, as a connection to their launch of their new game, Devil May Cry 5. Uh, so the three main characters, they have a super luxury replica custom version. Super luxury to say the least. Uh, you can do, uh, you can first of all get this uh, jacket that's missing half the arm for 750,000, uh, 100,000 yen, which I think is about $6,650. What's funny about this is that you can buy it with the video game. <laughs> yes, please, give me the jacket and the video game so I can wear it while playing. I mean, they're pretty pieces. I think if you put these in a high-end fashion store, no one would really question about it. Combining it with, with this uh, video game, it's kind of silly, but I don't know. There's something interesting about it as well. So this jacket is uh, the scan version of, the, of Dante's jacket. It's a cool jacket. Another very, very expensive cosplay. To be fair, it looks like extremely high quality, at least from what I can tell from it. You know people will be buying. You know people will be dropping money on this big time i mean these final fantasy or japanese type of games are always made to make the characters look cool in the strangest way possible so i kind of get it it makes sense i just wonder who will fall for this meme number seven i just spit everywhere gucci that's right they get their own category congratulations you know i wanted to just bring up their face masks i wish i talked about it in the last video I was so confused, why would people wear these face masks? I mean, I bought one myself, so I guess I shouldn't be asking that. They're silly to say the least, but they're not crazy expensive. 175 pounds. 
Please don't quote me on that. <laughs> I'm just saying, compared to all these other items, they're not that crazy. Uh, but the real reason Gucci gets on this meme is the fact that they have this uh, sort of Russian Babushka-inspired outfits. Like this one, for example. It's literally the get the look on this one. Shop the look. Okay, sure. That'll be 6,000. Okay, sure. Sure, why not? This was literally a meme on my own subreddit. Gucci, 5,000. Babushka. <laughs> Half a dollar. <laughs> Look at that. What is that? No! No! I don't know. The thing with Gucci is like... They have all these really silly items, but like I mentioned in the last video, they do have really cool pieces as well. That I genuinely uh, do like. And ever since their latest designer took in, they, they honestly, they've been killing it, so... They get a high spot on the list. Number eight, moving on. Big shoes, everybody. Another meme that I fell for. I mean, who would possibly buy big shoes? Why would anyone fall for this meme? <laughs> you have the Balenciaga shoes that got super popular. You have the Gucci shoes that are really big and uh, same sense. I mean, they're so similar. It's almost like uh, one type of shoe gets popular and then all the other brands just try and see who can yell the loudest. It's interesting to look back at people's opinion on these type of shoes a year ago. I know some people still feel this way, but... And make the worst shoe ever made that they still will probably buy. $800? <laughs> <laughs> $800. Whoa! But now you see so many brands just kind of taking and borrowing from this design as well. I think that's interesting. You know, people first they laugh and then they they copy it. Then you of course have that one that one person that just has to take it about five thousand steps too far. Thank you, Vetements. But of course, let's not ignore the Godfather of sneakers, the King of sneakers, the Maison Margiela Fusion sneaker. Oh yeah, just a thousand four hundred pounds. You know, most people, when they buy expensive sneakers, they want to make sure that uh, nothing gets on them, you know, no dirt whatsoever. Uh, with these, you really don't have to worry. I think the more dirt, the better. I love reading their reviews on these as well. Is this a joke? This is the new low. Super tacky. Fashion isn't fashion if it makes you look bad. Pass. I mean, people clearly are buying them. From most places I saw, they were sold out. <laughs> Number nine. We are getting there, everybody. Number nine goes to Vetements, and what can I say about Vetements? Well, uh, they like obviously they they like it big and oversized. The thing though, I'm a bit conflicted about them because I un I unironically like it, despite it looking very silly, over the top, and I think a lot of people would probably ask why the hell would you spend money on that? I read that I read this quote about Vetements that said, I think the hype around Vetements says more about how boring fashion is right now than it does about Vetements itself. And honestly, I kind of have to agree. They do cool pieces in a way that is at least unique. Maybe it, maybe I'm wrong here, I don't know. It's just like, look at guys' fashion, for example. It's t-shirts, hoodies, and sweatshirts, and it doesn't really get any weirder than that. It doesn't get, it really doesn't go outside of that box, at least for most people. I mean, streetwear is a, basically as far as it goes for most, uh, most guys around my age or younger. So I like what they're doing. I think it's interesting. I also thought it was interesting uh, with their latest collection. Uh, the, the designer comes from Georgia, and uh, he left QR codes incorporated in his uh, in his pieces so that people can uh, find out the story about Georgia. He said that growing up in Georgia, everyone wore the exact same clothes uh, there. Mixing fashion with spreading a message. So despite it being, you know, in a lot of people's eyes, very silly and over the top, uh, it does have some more depth to it as well. And. Uh, I don't know. That's cool. Number 10 spot. We finally did it. Who's gonna take it? Obviously. Obviously. Balenciaga. I mean, I've already mentioned them so many times in this video. It's almost like they need a video on its own. They definitely deserve the number one spot. From the IKEA bag to the McDonald's fry shoes. Half price, 425 pounds. Very nice. To the Balenciaga Crocs. Super high heels. To the Balenciaga supermarket grocery bag. To the Balenciaga shirt, t-shirt, shirt. 
Yes, of course. To the Balenciaga multi-layered uh, jacket. Multi, 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 multi-layered jacket. It's only 9,000. Balenciaga is clearly leading this meme, this fashion meme of not taking itself too uh, seriously at all, I guess. I don't know. But uh, same thing with Vetements. I think it's interesting they're doing more, uh, you know, despite being very silly, everyone makes fun of Balenciaga. It's, it's like, uh, it's a thing. They did a collaboration with World Food Program where they donated $250,000 uh, to end world hunger in 2030 and they give away part of the profits from the sales to this cause. You can criticize it for being overly expensive and all these things, but at least they're doing something positive. My sweet daughter, I've never been more proud. Any last words? Only one. <laughs> well, here is the newest item from high-end clothing brand Balenciaga. One of the items in their fall 2018 line is a t-shirt shirt. It looks a lot like a t-shirt attached to a collared shirt. And if you think that's weird, wait until you hear the price. The newest fashion trend will cost you 1245 bucks. That's it? I think it's easy to criticize how ridiculously over the top and overly expensive these items are and how you can spend that money on literally anything else. And, uh, you know, I've done that myself. It's, it's, it's a funny, it's a, it's a gag that everyone plays into. But the thing is, these brands know what they're doing. I mean, they know that the more people talk about them, the better. So while a lot of people show these things to ridicule it, it obviously helps build the brands as well, and they are aware of it. It's the same with that Kanye video, you know? They they wear these stupid outfits, and everyone's like, haha, look how dumb they look. It's not like they don't know what they were wearing. <laughs> it's not like they just accidentally fell into these outfits and be like, oh no, this is so embarrassing. People talked about the video because of the outfits, and it's this exact same thing. Uh, would this song have been popular otherwise? I think uh, probably not as much at the very least. People always seem so upset about the prices as well. Why are these so expensive? Why would anyone pay for this? I always see like really angry comments about it. But it's almost like the price sort of legitimizes it. If these clothes didn't cost much, then people wouldn't care. And if the clothes didn't cost that much, then people wouldn't buy it. People wouldn't want it. If these items were cheap, then it wouldn't have that desirable effect for people. While we, so while a lot of people share these items as a, as a way to ridicule and make fun of, that's what makes it possible for them to exist. It's almost like while making fun of them, we are making fun of ourselves. That sounded very deep. So on that note, I'm gonna end that video there. What do you guys think? Let me know. Do you agree with this list? Is there something I missed? I'm pretty sure there's a lot. This was interesting regardless. Leave a like if you enjoyed and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.